Now we came to uh, another important topic, which is the sum and difference formulas. So uh, after this, we will learn lots, lots of, of formulas. So you should write them down and you should also solve problems as much as you can. Okay. So we know how to find, for example, sine 120 degrees. We make it something familiar to us, which is sine 60 degrees, right? But how we can find the value of, let's say, sine 105 degrees, for example. So we need some formulas to find them. Here we have sine A plus B is equal to sine A times cos cosine B plus cosine A times sine B. And sine A minus B is also equal to sine A times cosine B minus cosine A times sine B. So in these formulas, okay, uh, as you can see, it has one sine, one cosine, one cosine, one sine, and the signs are the same, okay, for sine. I mean, uh, this is just for you to remember the, uh, the formulas. So, when we, uh, when we come back to our uh, sine 105 degrees, so all you need to do is to divide this amount into two parts, okay, which will be uh, easier for us to solve this problem. So here we have sine 1 over 5 degrees, right? I can write this one, uh, this degree as sine, let's say it's 60 plus 45 right because when you uh, sum this up it's, it's it will give you 105 so now everything is much easier why because i know their values i know their values of uh, i know their sine values i know their cosine values so i can easily apply this formula so here uh, in our formula we have sine a plus b is equal to sine a here it's sine 60 okay times cosine b it's cosine 45 plus cosine 60 times sine 45 right so this is a uh, square root of sine 60 square root of 3 over 2 times cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2 plus cosine 60 is equal to 1 over 2 times sine 45 is equal to square root of 2 over 2, right? So this is all equal to, uh, this will be square root of 6. Since they have the same denominator, I don't, um, I don't have to calculate that one. So here we have square root of 6 plus, here I have square root of 2, it's all over 4. So this is the answer for this one. You see now this uh, formula made everything actually much easier. So let's look at this example. Here we have sine, for, uh, sine 40 degrees times cosine 10 minus cosine 40 times sine 10. So here question uh, is given as an extant version of the formula. As you can see there is there's, uh, one sine, one cosine, one cosine, one sine. And here there is a minus sign, right? Which means this is actually is the extant version of sine a minus b, right? Why? Because we have minus sign here, which is equal to sine 40 minus 10, right? And this is equal to sine 30 degrees, and this is equal to 1 over 2. Now let's see how are the formulas when it comes to cosine. So here cosine a plus b is equal to cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b. And cosine a minus b is equal to cosine a times cosine b plus sine a times sine b. So when it comes to, cos uh, when it comes to cosine, uh, once uh, cosines are on one side, and uh, on the other side, uh, we, we write the signs, okay? So also, the, the signs of these are, uh, are opposite, okay? If it's plus here, it's negative here. It's minus here, it's positive here, okay? So I'm telling this uh, just, you know, for you to remember, uh, for you to remember these formulas easily. 
So let's look at this example. Here we have cosine 53 degrees times cosine 70 degrees minus sine 53 degrees times sine 70 degrees over sine 200 degrees. So as you can see again, here we have an extended version of our formula right on the numerator. So as you can see, cosines there are on one side and sines there are on the other side and we have minus sine here. So if we have minus sign here, it means that the original one is actually has a plus sign, right? So it is, uh, it's actually cosine, okay, 53 degrees plus 70 degrees, right? When you write this uh, one, it will become like this. So this is all over sine. So here, instead of 200 degrees. 200 is uh, close to 270 degrees, right? So I can rewrite this one based on our vertical line. Remember, this is, uh, here is 270 degrees. So I can rewrite this one based on our vertical line. And it will be like this, sine 270, minus 70, right? This is equal to sine 200. So uh, when we rewrite uh, these functions based on our vertical line, we know that the function, the function changes, right? If it is sine, it will become cosine. If it is cosine, it will become sine. So since we have here sine, this will become cosine, okay? So this will become cosine. And after that, what, uh, what we do, we just take this one, right? Cosine 70. So let's look at uh, its sine. So this is uh, uh, sine 200 degrees. Uh, so 200 will be somewhere um, here. Okay, so this is our sine line, right? So here, uh, what's the value of uh, this angle? This is actually on the negative side, right? That since this is on the negative side, this will be minus cosine 70 degrees. Okay, let's continue. On our uh, numerator, we have this one. This one also is equal to cosine 53 plus 17. This is equal to 70. You see here we have cosine 70 and here we have minus 70 and from here, this will cancel out each other and our answer for this example will be minus one. Let's look at the sum and difference formulas for tangent function. Uh, tangent A plus B is equal to tangent A plus tangent B over one minus tangent A times tangent B. Tangent A minus B is equal to tangent A minus tangent B over one plus tangent A times tangent B. So here we have this example, uh, tangent 15 is S. So since we don't know um, any, like we don't know uh, sine, sine 15 and cosine 15, right? Because we know, we know like sine 30, sine 60, but we don't know the value of sine 15 and uh, cosine 15. That's why we, we need to use one of these formulas here instead of to find the value of tangent 15, okay? so. We can, instead of tangent 15, we can write this as tangent 45 minus 30, right? Because this is equal to 15. So, and also I know the value of, um, I know the value of tangent 45 and tangent 30. That's why I, uh, th this, uh, this formula uh, would be easier for me to find the value of tangent 15. So let's do this then. So this is this one. Uh, so let's apply this formula here. Uh, it's equal to tangent A, which is equal to tangent 45 in our example. It's tangent 45 minus tangent B is tangent 30, 30 over, here we have one plus tangent A, it's tangent 45 times tangent B is tangent 30. Okay, so here 
uh, we know tangent 45 it's uh, sine 45 over cosine 45 which is equal to 1 so tangent 30 is equal to sine uh, 30 over cosine 30 so sine 30 is 1 over 2 cosine 30 is uh, square root of 2 over 2 uh, sorry it's a square root of 3 over 2 which is equal to 1 over 2 times 2 over square root of 3 and here we have 1 over square root of 3 uh, and this is also equal to square root of 3 over 3 right so here we have square root of 3 over 3 all over 1 plus tangent 45 it's 1 times square root of 3 over 3 so this is the logic actually uh, you can calculate th this after but this is the logic you need to know instead of to uh, to find values like this when it comes to tangent function let's look at this example here we have a b c d is a square and tangent s uh, tangent x is asked so here when we look at the angle of x it's not in the right triangle right to find the value of tangent x we need uh, this to be in the right triangle since this angle is not in the right triangle we will try to solve in another way uh, let's say here let's say here is angle y okay so uh, and here is total let's say angle z okay so why i did this because i know this side i know also this side and since since this is a right triangle i can easily find the value of uh, tangent x by using the formula of the sum and difference formulas okay so let's do that so here we said here is uh, angle y and here is angle z right so here x plus y is equal to z right x plus y which is equal to z since this is square uh, this if this the this side is equal to 6 this is also uh, this side is also 6 so from here uh, instead of x i can write z minus y okay so tangent x is actually equal to tangent z minus y so let's uh, let, uh, let's write down our formula for this it is tangent z minus y is equal to is tangent z minus tangent y over 1 plus tangent z times tangent y okay so let's look at the value of tangent z uh, z is here so this is our right triangle and uh, here is equal to 8 right so tangent uh, tangent z is equal to opposite side which is equal to uh, 8 over uh, it's opposite side and adjacent side which is equal to 6 minus tangent y it's opposite side over adjacent side which is equal to 6 over 6 and that is equal to 1 over 1 plus tangent z is 8 over 6 times tangent y is equal to 1 and from here this is uh, 6 times 1 it's 6 8 minus 6 it's 2 2 over 6 over this is 6 times 1 6 plus 8 it's 14 14 over 6 which is equal to these 6 they cancel each uh, each other cancel out each other and from here we will get 2 over 14 which is equal to 1 over 7 and this is also equal to our uh, our uh, our question tangent x and this is equal to 1 over 7 now let's look at the formulas for cotangent here we have cotangent a plus b is equal to cotangent a times cotangent b minus 1 uh, divided by cotangent a plus cotangent b here we have cotangent a minus b is equal to cotangent a times cotangent b plus 1 over cotangent b minus cotangent a so let's look at this example uh, it's asked, it's asked uh, ask the value of cotangent x 
So here, let's say this angle is equal to y. Okay, let's call it as uh, y. And here, we know that an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles, right? So here we can say that x is equal to 90 plus y. So y, because I know the sides of this right triangle, so I can use these angles to find the value of cotangent x. So let's do that. So here, uh, instead of cotangent x, I can actually write cotangent x is equal to cotangent 90 plus y. Okay, I will use this formula. So let's do that. It is equal to cotangent 90 plus y is equal to cotangent 90 times cotangent y minus 1 over cotangent 90 plus cotangent y. Okay, so Cotangent 19, it's equal to 1, uh, sorry, it's equal to 0, y, because this is equal to cos, uh, cosine 9 over sine, uh, sine 9, 90 degrees. So cosine 90 degrees is equal to 0, that's why this will be equal to 0. So here we will get minus 1, since this is equal to uh, 0, this will be all equal to 0, so we have here minus 1. And here we have cotangent 19, this is, um, we said this is equal to 0, cotangent y, let's look at uh, the value of cotangent y, so it's equal to 1 over 4, right? Why? Because cotangent is, uh, cotangent, uh, is uh, adjacent side over opposite side, so it is 1 over 4. So from here, we find the value of cotangent 19, uh, plus y which is equal to cotangent x so cotangent x is equal to minus 4 so our answer for this example is minus 4